Hey YouTube, so in this video we'll be using number theory to prove a quick little inequality. So prove that 3 to the n is always greater than n squared given that n is a positive integer. Okay, so since we're going to be proving a fact about all the positive integers, so 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to, you know, n, I guess, then what we're probably going to use is proof by induction. And basically what proof by induction states is that if you're able to prove this for n equals 1, and then you assume, assume n equals k is true, such that k is also a positive integer, then prove n equals k plus 1 is true, too. So if you assume that n equals k um, is true, is true, then if you're able to prove that n equals k plus 1 is also true, given that n equals k is true, then you proved it by induction. And the reasoning for this is because n equals 1, uh, known as the base case, um, if you're able to prove that for k being true, then k plus 1 is true, then that means that if 1's true, then 2 is also true, then 3 would also be true, and then so on. Proving that it's proof for all the integers, positive integers. So this is also known as weak induction. So let's just do that. So, so first of all, where do we start? Well, our base case, of course. So our base case, which is for n equals 1, well, we obviously know that 3 to the 1 power is greater than 1 squared. So our base case is proved. So, cool. Now we have to assume, we have to assume, this is known as the induction step. Assume that n equals k is true. So then that would mean 3 to the k is greater than k squared. We just assume that's true. And our goal, our goal is to prove that 3 to the k plus 1 is also greater than k plus 1 squared. So this is kind of an annoying inequality to prove. I mean, I'm sure you could try to think of a million ways to solve it. It's kind of hard, but I'll, I'll try to show you guys a way that'll maybe be um, kind of understandable. So let's, I'll just erase this first. So remember, so our goal, again our goal, we know that 3 to the k is greater than k squared. We want to prove that 3 to the k plus 1 is greater than k plus 1 squared. Okay, cool. So to begin, let me just go on a bit of an unrelated tangent that I'll prove is related in a bit. So it's called Bernoulli's inequality. So in analysis, this is a very useful inequality. I've used it a million times. So it states, um, it states this. So if x is an integer, oh, sorry, if x is equal to or greater than negative 1 and n is an integer, then 1 plus x to the n power is always equal to or greater than 1 plus nx, given, the, given these conditions, of course. So if you want a quick proof, I'll give it, because like this video is going to be long as heck anyway. So. so we know that 1 plus x to the n by the binomial theorem is equal to 1 plus nx plus n choose 2. Um, what n choose? Uh, oh, sorry, my brain's malfunctioning. N choose two x to the n plus n choose three. Wait, no, that's not right. X squared, x cubed, and then so on. So essentially, this is a summation. So uh, it's a summation from i equals one to n of just. Uh, n i x to the i power. So this you can prove by the binomial theorem. 
So I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to cover the binomial theorem because that's like algebra two or something. This is number theory. So essentially what this state, what this means, the implication of this is that if you, these are all going to be positive numbers. These are all going to be positive numbers, or at least the sum of all of this will be positive if that's not the case. So if this is going to be positive, then this little section is going to be less than the sum of all of these. And so that's how we get this fact over here. So, okay, so, so that's like a, a pseudo proof for, for the, the Bernoulli's inequality. So now what? Well, we can just say that we can say suppose, suppose x equals two and of course n equals k, which is in the natural numbers. So we're kind of working backwards here. So then we, we can get, we can substitute our values in. So we get one plus k squared Sorry, one plus, sorry, one plus two to the k power is equal to or greater than one plus one plus two um, k. So we then know that three to the k power is e always equal to or greater than one plus two k. Well, well, shoot, where the heck is, how the heck is that supposed to help us? Well, actually, um, the neat thing is that. This is kind of connected to k plus 1 squared because we already know that k plus 1 squared. If you expand that out, you get k squared plus 2k plus 1. So you already have the latter two terms of this polynomial. So that might be a hint as to how to solve this problem, but let me proceed. So, and by the way, we, we know that, um, and by the way, these conditions satisfy the Bernoulli inequality because because x has to be equal to or greater than negative one. And of course, the natural numbers is a subset of, of, the, of the integers. So we, we satisfy the, you know, we satisfy the Bernoulli inequalities conditions. So, all right, sorry, now, I'm, now I can proceed. So we can use some clever, we can use clever uses of equalities and inequalities to do a few things. So first of all, we know that 2 times 3 to the k is always greater than 3 to the k for, for k in of, k of the natural numbers. And if you don't know, natural numbers is just the integers counting up from 1 all the way to, I guess, infinity. So, yeah, it starts from 1, not 0. But even if it started from 0, this would still hold true. So then we know that two to the, three to the k is also just equal to or greater than one plus two k. Okay, cool. So how do we how do we proceed from here? That's kind of an inter interesting fact. Well, we can use our induction hypothesis, which is this. Our induction hypothesis stated three to the k is always greater than k squared. So now. What we can do is we could say two times three to the k, or three times three to the k, which is also three k, three to the k plus one is two times three to the k plus one times three to the k, which is just three to the k. So I'll just make it easier. Um, and then as we already know, two times three to the k is always greater than one plus two k. So we know this. And then we know that this is also true. So then we can also say that one plus two K, this is true. And then we can substitute in K squared as well because this, this aligns with this and this aligns with this. So then we end up getting three times three to the K uh, or in other words, three to the K plus one power is always greater than this, poly, this polynomial, which is, if you factor it out, k plus 1 squared, so k plus 1 squared. And in essence, that that is what we sought out to prove. So then, by induction,
3 to the n is always greater than n squared. And then we're done. I guess I'll just write a QED here. Yep. Thank you for watching. That's it.